All right, so today President Joe Biden will commemorate the 70 years since the Brown versus Board of Education decision. He'll attend an NAACP event at the National Museum of African American History and Culture. And on Sunday, Biden is set to deliver the commencement address at Morehouse College. But some members of the HBCU are considering protesting over his handling of the war in Gaza. CBS News Chief White House correspondent Nancy Cordes is joining us. Okay, so a lot of people may be unfamiliar with Morehouse College. So just sort of remind us about uh, why it is an important college, why it is, the, it is I'm sure he gets a lot of invitations uh, for commencement right. speeches, why he's choosing to uh, attend this one and make a speech here. Right, well, it's a prestigious college. It is uh, one of the most renowned uh, HBCUs in the country. And typically, uh, a president choosing to deliver uh, a commencement speech at any college or university would be a big feather in the cap of that college or university. But uh, we're living in unusual times. This is all happening against the backdrop of the Israel-Hamas conflict. And we have seen young people demonstrate from coast to coast on college campuses about U.S. support for Israel and President Biden's enduring support for Israel. And so uh, there are students who are saying that they are going to protest. The White House has tried to conduct some outreach to those students. They sent the director of community engagement, Stephen uh, Benjamin, down there a couple of weeks ago to meet one on one with a group of students, with faculty, with members of the administration to see what it is they'd like to hear from the president, what message they want to give to the president so he could come back here to the White House and deliver that message to the president personally, all in an effort to kind of diffuse this situation in the hopes that this speech will go off without a hitch on Sunday. Certainly the campaign doesn't want the visual of all these students and faculty getting up in the middle of President Biden's commencement. But Nancy, what happens if there are right. protests, if there are potential, I guess, so-called disruptions? Right. And Morehouse University doesn't want those visuals either. And so the president of the university said yesterday that if that happens and if uh, there are students that are protesting, that are being disruptive, on the verge of being arrested, he's willing to shut down the entire commencement because he doesn't want those types of scenes going out there. He doesn't want Morehouse represented that way. So, you know, sort of upping the ante uh, with the students themselves there saying, hey, if you want to disrupt this commencement, if you want to ruin commencement for your fellow graduates, many of whom, don't forget, didn't get to experience a true high school mm. graduation because it came during COVID, well, you're welcome to show your displeasure. You can turn your seat around. You can wear something uh, that, that reflects your views when you come up to get your diploma. All that's fine. You have freedom of speech, but don't disrupt the ceremony because you'll be disrupting it for everyone and possibly you will end up shutting it down. That could also be part of the message as well. Uh, all right, Nancy, thank you. You're welcome.